Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to track and analyze visitor activity on your Google Sites website using Facebook Pixel? In this video, I will show you how to add Facebook Pixel to your Google Sites. You will know how to generate your Facebook Pixel code and add it as an embed code to your Google Sites. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, right after you open your Google Sites and you have chosen your template from the gallery, the next thing is to go ahead and create a Facebook Pixel account. So go ahead and go to Facebook Pixel, Metapixel, and here let's go all the way up to here and click to start now. So let's give it some time until it's started and here we go. So let's stop this. And now if you want to create, if you want to here, to start it with ads, etc., you will have to choose, first of all, only active, active accounts can create or edit ads. So let's go to account overview. So guys here, let me just confirm and create, click on here to create. And let's see what we want here. So for now, it is up to you guys. What do you want? Traffic, etc. But let's keep it simple for now. Then right after you have chosen what do you want, traffic, etc., you have to go to Facebook Events Manager. From there, you can simply click here, connect data sources, and then you can choose either you want a web, app, offline, or CRM. For us, we want web. So Adagon does not have permission to create a new Metapixel since I have already one. But overall, you can simply click here, and then they will show you a sample link. The simple link which says um, add your domain name. So for me here, if I clicked on the settings, so if you clicked over here on the top uh, right corner on the settings, you will find here some information about the website. From navigation, brand image, viewer tool, custom domains, analytics, and announcements. So for custom domains here, you will have to click here to start setup and add your custom domain. In case you don't have it, you can buy one through GoDaddy, Hostinger, and many other platforms that provide you with domains for a cheap price. So for example here, if I want to GoDaddy, here we go, and I tried to get it, you will click here and you will get to it like a .com domain for $5 per year. So it is a very, very good domain name. and for a cheap price which is five dollar for a year which is nothing basically now right after you get it just paste it over here start set up paste it then next and you will have it done then copy the domain name that you have and paste it over here in this for example let's go with connect here get started and it will be something like that so for now add account not allowed to add up id for me because i don't really have a business account but for you guys you will be able to do so and there you will just type your https www.yourdomainname.com make sure to add the https or the http depending on if you have the ssl certified or not Right after that, they will give you an embed code, which eventually you can add right over here in the bottom of this page. So let me show you how you can add an embed code. But for me, I will try to get an example from ChatGPT since I don't have the code. So can you give me an example of Facebook pixel embed code? So let's see if it can give us an example of it. All right, here it is. So basically what I'm going to do is copy it and paste it in the link that I have. So copy this. Here we go. I'm going to click on embed code through here and then choose embed code next. And this is how it's gonna look like. It's gonna be literally an empty box since the ads are going later on to be added over here. So now you don't really have to worry about it. Make it as you'd like, for example, like that, long as the ads must be. And then you can, for example, even move it to the top of the page so it can be shown for all the people once they open the page and that will be showing right there. So this is an idea on how to use the Facebook pixel on your site's Google in 2023. 
The same thing goes for any other page, guys. So the same uh, method, you would use it on any other template gallery. You don't really have to worry about it. For example, here, this professor's template, I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to drag this embed code here paste it and guys uh, in case you are using it like me don't copy this and don't copy this i mean there is no problem with with you copying it but yeah just keep it like that only the script to no script so this is how it's gonna look the script in general it will have your information so make sure to not show it to anyone it will have here your pixel id the page view track in it uh, you will have here the display none here your pixel id name uh, the page view numbers so here will be some kind of informations about you so make sure to not show it to anyone and keep it safe in your website and and yeah that's it and make sure to put it between the head and the head tags on every page so you can have the ad running on literally every single page so for example here i'm inserting it on the home page so the next time i'm going to go to the teaching page and i'm going to insert embed code do it again insert next and then go to the other page writing page for example and redo it so guys this is the most important thing that you have to implement it on any other page since you will need to make money making money is important so this is how you do it you have to make ads on every page not only on the home page because people sometimes will not really be interested in the home page they will have a link directly going to the writing or the interviews for example for me or the office hours so this is a thing that you have to make sure you're doing but and yeah. guys before we get to finish with this video i'd like to show you some of the reddit blogs or articles about this facebook pixel on google sites and how does it really work so as i said before in this video uh, how to add it simply you go to the process that i've told you and then you choose the embed code from the web as you can see so this guy has been through trouble so i've been trying to add facebook pixel to my google sites since i want to have a free website to use for business is there any way to add it so here are uh, people are actually showing them the same thing that i've showed you in the video so yes you can do it use the embed option shown in your screenshot to place the code generate the code from the manual install option on facebook make sure to publish the site to bring the pixel live on your site as you can see and if you had your site open in a tab prior to publishing the pixel then close it and clear browser cache so some of you guys might have some problems so this is kind of a solution for you in case you had this problem during following my tutorial this is a good solution for you to try it before uh, you actually search for another solution so this is pretty much good and then use the pixel helper chrome extension to confirm it's firing correctly so this is a good extension to have it on your browser in case you were thinking am i doing it right is everything fine well this extension will help you which is pixel helper and if you run into errors when confirming look at the event log to see what is wrong and then adjust it accordingly to the errors that has been shown on the event log and this is simply it so thank you guys a lot for watching and let's meet on the next video